guys it's the macintosh guide and welcome to another video now this video again is not going to be a mac related one mainly because of the fact that i was actually finally able to pick up a playstation 5. now i've been wanting a playstation 5 since the launch um, i believe around two years ago or so but as we all know that there was just a massive massive shortage going on around the world for many things um and at that time, I was actually luckily able to pick up an Xbox Series X. However, the fanboy inside of me finally was able to pick up a PlayStation 5 today. Um, and that's not the only thing I picked up, guys. I've also been able to pick up a Need for Speed Unbound copy. And one of my all-time favourites, the Gran Turismo series. So Gran Turismo 7 is also another game I've picked up. Um, and also with the bundle, besides God of War Ragnarok, I also got a steel series headset that came bundled with the console so very exciting times let's just get straight into unboxing the playstation 5 and get it booted up guys so, so guys let's just start getting unboxed so i got it out of its original playstation 5 unboxing um and yeah let's just see what the instructions look like so i need to pull this out Get rid of the box which is on the top. Push the box to the side for the time being. And let's just have a look at what is included. So guys, I've took the first box out that was on the PlayStation 5. So this, I believe, is the God of War Ragnarok. I can't show this to you on the camera because it's got the Ragnarok code. Um, so guys, this is the code. Um, you've got the Sony Guarantee booklet. Uh, we've also got the PlayStation 5 Quick Start stuff, which I'm pretty sure none of you give a crap about. This is the one of the power plugs to the PlayStation 5. And then we also have the... What is this? Is this the PlayStation Stand? Yeah, this seems to be the PlayStation 5 Stand. So we will definitely be using that putting it back into it, the packaging and then we've also got a HDMI cable um, let's have a look this is the DualShock 5 controller guys so this is going to be our bad boy to use oh wow guys it actually feels very nice and comfortable um, Wow, that actually looks very nice. It actually feels amazing. It feels better than the Xbox controller. Um, I'll show a side-by-side -side comparison in a, in a bit, guys. But I've got the Series X, um, the Elite controller. But guys, this actually feels much, much better. Um, so that's the PlayStation 5 controller. Let's just put it back in its packaging for the time being. I like to keep things nice and tidy. Um, that's that. And then we have oh, the controller cable guys so this is USB-C so that's brilliant as well so let's just leave that stuff in there and let me just get the PlayStation 5 out guys it's the PlayStation 5 so it's all nice and wrapped by Sony um, yeah guys it's actually really massive compared to what it looks like on pictures i've never seen a playstation 5 up front so this is the first time i'm seeing it and guys look at this look at this behemoth it's already got rubbish all over it fantastic um yeah guys let's just have a look so this is the back of the playstation 5 so i don't know if you guys can see there's two usb3 ports uh, there's an Ethernet port, there's a HDMI port, and there's the power adapter port right there. Um, gets really dirty really quickly, that's for sure. Um, this is one of the sides of the PlayStation 5, and guys, this is the front of the PlayStation 5. So, as you guys can probably see, it's beautiful, absolutely beautiful looking. Um, got another USB port over here that seems to be a USB-C port at the front as well um, we've got some buttons over here I presume one's a power button and one's the CD 
disc removal button and then you've obviously got the cd one so yeah guys this is the playstation 5 this is the disc model so it comes with 825 gigs of storage and i actually plan on upgrading the storage in the next video guys i've uh, been able to pick up a 980 pro samsung drive so we'll stick one of those in here as well uh, so we can expand our storage so yeah guys uh that's just the unboxing of the PlayStation 5. Let's just boot it up and show you guys what it looks like in terms of a first user experience. Let's just go through the setup. So United Kingdom, uh, adjust the display area zone. Yeah, okay. Uh, you, if you have a game disc, insert it now and we'll install it while you're in. Let's just skip that for now. Continue without game disc. Uh, power options for rest mode. Control the amount of power consumed and features your PS5 can use while in rest mode. Uh, I'm going to keep it with low power. I actually unplug my consoles at night so it doesn't really make a difference. Yes, I trust you Sony, you're not going to screw me over. Confirm. And update the software system to use network features and get the most out of your PS5. So guys, I'm going to do this now. Um, and then I will get back to you guys. PlayStation 5 is updating guys. As you can tell, the DualShock controller, guys, it just looks amazing. Um, I feel like this is what you call next generation. And a lot of people actually hated the PlayStation 5 design. They were calling it the Virgin Media Box. Um, if you're from the UK and you're watching this, guys, you know exactly what I mean with the Virgin Media Box. Um, so, yeah, I actually love the design. I don't think anything was bad with it. The only thing I've realized since the couple of minutes I've obviously... <laughs> Um, been handling the PlayStation 5 is it's massive compared to the Xbox Series X um, and I actually plan on doing a video with the PlayStation 5 against the Xbox Series X so guys yes subscribe and ch stay tuned for that okay so now it's got to the sign in screen now guys I do have a PlayStation account I'm going to sign into it and I'll be just back a lot of account related stuff going on uh, is because I haven't played a PlayStation console for a couple of years now since the PlayStation 4 so yeah now it's finally got to a screen where I can start recording again so uh, download media apps is there any of these applications that I want to download so not Amazon Prime not now not Apple TV Netflix we will Crunchyroll no BT Sport no Spotify no Dazzle no and Pluto no so let's just quickly download those um, I've got very quick internet guys, so it should theoretically download quite quickly. Uh, if you already have a PS4 console on file, you can transfer your data to the PS5. Transfer your data won't remove it from your your other console. Extended, transfer data, go to settings. No, I'm, I'm okay. I'm going to set this PS5 up as new. Welcome to the PlayStation 5. Now, there's just a couple of things I wanted to check. Now, I have a 34-inch um ultra wide monitor and I wanted to see if I can do any settings for the screen so if we go into screen and video and they go the connected HDMI device supports 1440p output test it to see if this works on P PS5 so it already knows about my output um, and it says in the next screen test will be run for 1440p output with your HDMI device you'll test it for following if a setting isn't supported the screen will go blank and the previous settings will be restored after after 15 seconds uh, the current screen is showing so can you see the screen if you select yes within 15 the previous settings will be restored Test complete. Your HDMI device supports 1440p for these device output 60 hertz. Guys, we got 1440p running. Brilliant. Um, that was quick and easy in reality. Um, you can actually enable 120 hertz. Now, my monitor only does 100 hertz, so this isn't going to work. Um, and then I obviously don't have 4K output, but I do have a 4K television downstairs, so maybe I could um, do that as well and then i've got a couple of settings for hdr my monitor does support hdr uh, which is fantastic and then you've also got stuff like rgb range so yeah it seems to be working brilliantly um i'm only going to find out when i do some game testing um but yeah guys 
thank you for watching. This was just a very quick video on me unboxing my PlayStation 5. Very excited, as you could probably tell. Um, stay tuned for the next couple of videos, guys. I'm going to do a couple of videos on the PlayStation 5 versus the Xbox Series X. And we're also going to be doing some reviews on the Nintendo Switch. I've also got some MacBook versus Windows machine reviews coming up and tests. So stay tuned, guys. We've got loads more coming. And I just wanted to say thank you for 100 subscribers. It means a lot. It's the Macintosh Guide, and I am tuning out.